if you are doing the religion basics worksheet, part of that resource asks you to look at the arda.com to get the uh, counts for various religions in the world, in your state, and in your county. Now, the Arda resource has recently undergone a major revision, um, renovation, and I'd like to show you how to use the new and updated Arda website to find the information you're looking for. To start with, we want to find out which country in the world has the most of any given religion. You want to go to world religion, and under profiles, slide on over to where it says world. Click on that, and it will load a page with a list of different religions in the world. And this page only tells you the percentage in the world. But to find how many there are for any given religion, for instance, Buddhists, click on the name of the religion you're looking for. And when that page loads, you will find a list of nations, the region that nation is in. This is the number of Buddhists in any given nation, and this is the percentage of the population in that nation that is Buddhist. What you want to do is look under the first column for the number of Buddhists, and click on that title, and you'll have to click on it a second time. That will reorganize the list. So the first time you end up with the fewest Buddhists, which is why it was blank. The second time you click, you'll get the country with the most at the top. And that's what we want to see. So we can see here, um, this first country here, which is China, has 228 million Buddhists. And the next one down is only 70 million. So clearly, China is the nation with the most Buddhists. And if you uh, then select another variable from this drop-down list, you can find out how many Christians there are or which nation has the most Christians. And you give it a moment to reload. And actually, it's adding Christians to what you had previously listed. You can now go into the Christian column and look at the one that's for the number. This has a percent sign, so that's not the column you want to know the number of Christians, click on that once and then a second time if necessary and you'll get the highest count at the top, 245 million point five, um, and that's, as we can see here, the United States. So you can continue to do that for different religions um, that are on the worksheet. Here's Hindu, um, Muslims, Jews, Sikhs, which, and each one of these, you'll do the same thing, um, and you can find that that way. Now, to get the counts for different states and um, counties in the United States, you want to go back to U.S. religion and look under statistics and go to membership reports. And when that loads, give it a moment or so, um, it may or may not have your county and state at the top, um, but you can uh, change that if you need to. Um, you can switch counties as necessary. In this case, I guess it's smart enough to realize my computer's in Fairfax County, but maybe you're in a different county than it's coming up. Um, the most recent report is the default 2010. Um, probably, hopefully, shortly, they'll be updating this to the 2020 counts. Um, and this would be a county report. You can also get a re generate a report for the state. Um, let's say if you want to change counties, let's say you're in Alexandria City. Um, that's right here. If you're in Arlington, that's here. Um, let's look at Arlington. You give that a moment to change. Oh, actually, you have to click Start. Once you've selected, then you have to click Start a New Report. All right, so if it doesn't change automatically, look for something like that. So here we are, 
Arlington County, Virginia. Now, the best way to do this is to organize it alphabetically by family. So we'll click on family and now you can easily go down because some of these denominations have multiple um, different church bodies in the same family. So for instance, um, and again, if you look at the top, there's the number of adherents, number of con okay, congregations in the first column of numbers. On the left, adherence is the middle column. That's the one we want to look at. Adherence is individual members. And adherence rate, that's how many out of 1,000 follow that religion. We're not concerned with that. We want to look at the middle column, adherence. And if you want, for instance, to check the Anglican or Episcopal, you can see the total number given here. Sometimes it's blank. That means they don't know how many their adherents there are for that particular church. Um, so you obviously can't count that, but so just count the total. Um, but take a look at Baptist, how many different kinds of Baptists are there. Um, so you want to make sure you check all the different kinds within the same family, and you'll need to total these numbers up. Um, an approximation is okay, but if you've got a calculator, so 2,700, another 80, so maybe that's 2,800, um, another 350, there's 3,700, so we've got 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, um, plus the hundreds, so that's about 5,000 between these, and then another 7, 800, another 1,000, so maybe about eight. 8,000 if I'm adding in my head. So you can use a calculator if you want to. Some of them are easy. There's just one group for that family. Um, if you scroll on down, um, you can find, for instance, Lutherans are on the worksheet, Methodists. Under other groups, this is where you'll generally find Hindus, Buddhists. Apparently in Arlington County, there are none. On those groups, do you miss you miss Judaism? There's the Judaism count. There's the Islam count. Islam is Muslim. Same thing. Um, did we miss any Buddhists? I don't think so. Presbyterians are here. Pentecostals. So um, that's what whatever is on the worksheet. That's what you're looking for. Um, and maybe there's nothing listed. As Sikhs are on the worksheet. I don't see Sikhs listed here for Arlington. But if we pick a different county, let's let's go back to Fairfax County because that's a larger county with more diversity. Um, and uh, so you'll know, notice this Fairfax City and Fairfax County. So make sure if you're in the county, you're picking the county. Start a new report. Let that load. Um, reorganize it according to family, it's alphabetical by religious body, which is specific denominations, family, groups of denominations. Um, there's Anglican Episcopal here, uh, Baptist, just like we saw, and some of these, again, they don't have any numbers indicated, so all you can do is total up the numbers that are there. Now, this Buddhism, there's three different Buddhists. Um, denominations, so um, total those numbers up. Don't just give one because that's not going to be correct. Um, and here you'll find this several different Hinduism groups. Again, total all those four up. Um, one listing for Islam, there are several Jewish groups. Total those up and so on and so forth down the line. Um, here's under other, you'll notice we have seek. That's on the worksheet, but it doesn't give us anything but the count for congregations. Do not put congregations if we're looking for how many members are there. Just put an NA if there's nothing indicated, not available, NA. Now, and we also want to know under the state, so go to back up to the drop down menus and select state report and that will just then generate probably the state you're actually in. If not, you can select a different state from this drop down menu.
Um, so again, organize it by clicking on family so you can go alphabetically and have those all grouped together. How many are in the state of Virginia? Uh, Anglican Episcopal, Baptist, and again, there are many different kinds of Baptist churches. Um, boy, on and on and on. So again, you'll want to be totaling these up. Um, apparently most of them are Southern Baptist Convention, but look at all these others are part of the Baptist. So you want to total all of these numbers up. And I guess in this case, use a calculator because it's just too many to keep track of in your head. Uh, so that's how to find how many, uh, what, which nation has the most for any given religion. We did that first. And then we looked at how many in your county for each religion. Um, this would be in chart number two. And then also in your state. Um, so this is where you generate those reports. Okay.